Okay, a minute ago I had the GPS talking, so I had to start over. And she's probably going to do it again because I'm going to be doing some turning and stuff. So in about three more miles, she's going to open her mouth again. Uh, me and my co-driver, teammate, we call her our little girlfriend that never shuts up. She always wants to interrupt at the wrong time. But anyways, give me a heads up. That's going to happen here again in just a second. And then I'll get these slow-ass drivers in front of me then. I'm going to go below the speed limit by 20 miles an hour and slow us down and unfortunately we've got a big rig with weight behind us and once they slow us down it takes us 5 to 10 minutes to get back up to speed. But anyways, to the reason why I'm doing this, young little lady on uh, Facebook about two months ago I found her and started watching her. She's inspired me. She's a lot cuter than I am. So probably rather be listening to her and watching her than me any day of the week. But anyways, I'm a patriot through and through, 100%. Texas. Love Texas. Uh, I'm going to start doing this as often as I can. Telling y'all how it is in my eyes that I believe it to be with my opinion. And the first thing I want to hit on is the fact of these idiots that were raised by idiots that burn our flag, pee on our flag, step on our flag, throw our flag to the ground and say our flag is all about badness. It's about freedom, you dipshit. And that's why you got that freedom to do what you do. And in my eyes, I think by you being able to say that you're doing your freedom of speech and expression, we should be able to do our freedom of speech and expression too. Walk up and call you an idiot and knock you the fuck out. And if that doesn't work, the second time you're caught doing it and someone gets a little film, have three people knock you the fuck out. And so on and so on. Because you have been given the right to do what you do. But that doesn't mean I have to watch it or see it. And if you can't be smart enough to understand that... You have to keep left to stay on I-30 West. No, nope, you did not. Anyways, you have been raised by people that are morons, idiots too, and uh, unfortunately, y'all think that you're Keep untouchable. Keep left to stay on I-30 West. That you're untouchable. Well, you're not. As some of the Marines have started doing, some other military people, they're starting to stand up. Continue on I-30 West for two miles. And unfortunately, there's not enough of us doing that. We've allowed you people to do what you do in the government. And we, as the people, are your bosses. You're supposed to be there working for us, not against us. And unfortunately, the sunlight's beaming in on my side here, so you can barely see me, which is probably a good thing. But I just want to start by saying that we all need to say no more. Stand up for what is ours. Stand up for what is right. Uh, when you see someone doing something wrong, it shouldn't be a crime because you stop some punk, whether he be black, white, Mexican, Chicago, whatever, hitting a 70-year-old woman because he thinks he should have the seat on the wall that she's sitting on. I seen that video, I seen four or five. In a half mile, people. keep right at the fork to stay on I-30 West. Follow signs for I-30 West, Hot Springs, Texarkana. Four or five of the men there that didn't do anything to stop it, didn't do anything to stop him. Well, from me to you, you're lucky the cops found you, and you're very lucky it wasn't my keep mother. Keep right at the fork to stay on I-30 West. Lucky that it wasn't my mother or my wife that you did that to. Because before the cops would have got to you, continue I would have on I-30 West for 315 miles. I would have taken care of you my way. So you should be thinking you're lucky God, your lucky beliefs or whatever it is that they got to you, and it wasn't my mother, or my grandmother, or my wife. Now back to the original subject I started with there. These men and women that have fought for our freedom 
should be given a lot more than what they're being given. We have X amount of homeless veterans that are going without every day for their meds and everything else because our government is too greedy to help them the way they should be. They fought for your freedom and you just spit in their face every day. You slap them down like they were nothing more than a darn measly dog which is treated better than some humans now. And my dogs treat better than me. I know because I'm the one babies him and, and spoils his ass. Huh? But he also is loyal to me as these military people have been to you. So you as a general public need to stand up and say no more. If you want your true freedom, get ready because there's a war coming. And we're allowing it by allowing our government to allow all these ISIS people that are coming in here as supposed refugees. They're going to fucking do their little sleeper cells everywhere and get away with shit. Like the guy down there in Florida shoots a hundred and some odd people, kills 50 of them. And the news says that the FBI has been watching him for three years, people. What's that tell you? That tells you our government isn't caring about what's going to happen as long as they get their paychecks. So, this was 7-16-2016. Uh, it's now 7.30. And I will do this again the next chance I get. Thank you. And have a great day.